Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with California Dairy Magazine, reporting to you from Diamond H Dairy in Chowchilla, California. I'm here with Travis Hooker. He and his father, you know, father son team, owning operating this dairy. You guys recently invested in an automated uh, milking system, yep. right? Tell tell us a little about that. Yeah, so around two years ago, we put in um, 13 VMS 300s from DeLaval, um, robotic milking systems. Uh, what's what's their capacity like? How how many you know how many cows can you get through there in a, in a set amount of time? Yeah, so they say um, you can probably put 65 to 70 cows per per robot. Um, get pens of usually three robots, so pens around 210 cows. And what do you what how, what do you see as the effect that this has had on your dairy? You know, it's, it, it's a huge investment, right? Yeah. So you wonder like, is it? Is it worth it? There's a lot of dairy producers out there that are kind of sitting and waiting and seeing like, is this for me? Um, you know, obviously every dairy is different, but tell us about your experience. Yeah, so our experience has been really good. Um, I think a, a big pro to um, this kind of voluntary milking system is just the welfare and the wellness of the cows. They, they seem really relaxed. They enjoy being here. They're very calm. We've actually seen an increase in production between the two herds, um, between the, the robotic herd and the conventional herd. So I think there's, there's many more pros that I can tell you about for hours. <laughs> and adjusting to the system, you know, it's not something that, that can be done overnight for the cows uh, or you, know, you and your employees, right? Yeah. So how, how, tell us about, I mean, how long does it take to really get uh you know comfortable with this system and uh and work out some of the quirks you know and in, in the adjustment period yeah so for any new startup you're gonna have growing pains and things aren't always gonna go as planned um, but with robots it kind of seems a little bit prolonged because it's such a new technology it's new to us as the farmer or the dairyman um, it's new to all of our employees um, it's very new to the cows they've they're used to being push to a, a parlor every day so the cows have to learn, we have to learn, um, and it's a big learning curve. So there's, it takes a little bit longer to quote unquote break in the barn than, than a conventional barn would. And then, you know, working out the technology aspect of it, right, because you're monitoring these cows and, and, and doing the, you know, mechanical repairs and maintenance of these robots, it's, it's a different dynamic, right? It's just another learning curve of fixing these, these types of machines because no one's no one's super comfortable with it. I know I wasn't when we started. I didn't even know what really I was looking at. Um, but as time goes and things are going to break, so you learn as things break. And um, as it goes on, you just keep learning and just try to soak up as uh, much information as you can as, as you're starting out and getting this thing going. So, you know, the learning curve you're talking about, you didn't have to bring on new employees that knew technology. You were able to train existing employees, right, to be able to, to manage the everyday maintenance of, of these, uh, these machines, right? Yeah, so we added um, about 850 cows to our herd when we put this uh, robotic milking system in, and we didn't add a single, um, a single extra person. Um, we found people from our conventional barn that we thought would be a good fit in this system and that can learn the system. Um, and we just brought them over here and they've really excelled at it and they've learned a lot. They were with me and we were all together learning at the same time. So it was it was a good learning curve, but it was it was a long learning curve. We're still learning as we go now. We're, we're two years in and I I still don't know everything close. I don't know anything close to it, but um, you know, like let's say six months, you know, four to six months into this, did you have regrets? You know, as, as you were trying to you know go through these growing pains, would you be like, oh yeah, I love this. Let's let's uh, recommend it to every other dairy producer. How'd you feel then, and how, versus how you feel now? Yeah, I think it's a little different by where or who you are and, and what your startup looks like. Um, but I know by by four to six months with me, I I was tired. I didn't really want to do it anymore. It's it was oh, it it was a long six months. Um, but you kind of just have to stick with it and believe in the technology and uh, believe in the process. And now two years in, um, 
I I would recommend it to almost anybody. Um, and really, after the first year, it, it it there's like a switch that gets turned that it, it starts to smooth out a lot. So it really takes commitment, uh, not only you know to your cows and but to to the future in this dairy industry, right? Because you know the labor savings. Uh, there's just so much. That you, that you get from this, but you have to get through that that first, you know, those growing pains for about a year, um, and and you know we'll, we get to learn a little more about the ROI on this, but uh, definitely seeing some great benefits. Thank you for being yeah, willing to share with us today. Read more about these things in California Dairy Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.